Sometimes the inspiration for a YouTube video can come from the strangest things. Take for instance, I just got home from my trip from Detroit and need to cut the grass because we had a lot of rain while I was gone. So it led me to the idea, well, first thing I need to do is see if I have gas for the lawnmower. And of course, I don't. Then I got to thinking, you know what? It would be a really cool time to do a video on how to take the ethanol out of your gas. So stay tuned. There's a lot of people out there who debate whether ethanol is bad for small engines and things of that sort. That's not what this video is about. Um, what I'm getting ready to show you goes back to when I actually had my shop called Crossroads Performance. This was back in 2008, 2007. Just about the time the E85 came onto the scene, the first thing that I did I, I jumped on the E85 bandwagon. In fact, I was one of the first. But in doing so, you learn the E85 draws moisture. It's hygroscopic, so, which means it attracts moisture. And that's a bad thing. But later on, I began to think, hey, when they started putting 10% ethanol in regular fuel, I figured, well, why not use that to my advantage and be able to use water to draw out the ethanol. Yes, you heard that right, water. These are the things that we're gonna to use to draw the ethanol out of the regular gas. Little glass container here. This is mainly just so you can see it. I need a siphon hose and about half a gallon of water. You can see it's about to that line right there. That's kind of important we'll talk about. So I went to the store, got a couple gallons of gas, just regular 87 octane. Now I'm getting ready to show you how to do this. Don't try this at home, folks. Now this is the point when a lot of people is going to think I'm crazy. Taking half a gallon of water and doing this with it. See, there's the gas, straight up 87 octane. Pour it in there. Right. First step complete. Second step, you want to shake this up. It's kind of hard to do it holding the camera. Well, I'm making a mess. So to me, this is where the cool part starts because this is chemistry in action. All right, so I have let this sit for 15 minutes. And as you can see with the 30 second clip or so, we have really good separation of the water and ethanol, and that's pure gasoline. So now what we've got to do is siphon the ethanol off of the bottom of the uh, jar here. Now this is the point where piece of rubber hose comes into play as you can see this is the place where a piece of rubber hose comes into play you can buy one of them little siphon tubes but I guess I'm still old school so I'm gonna stick this in the bottom
We're going to suck this all the way down. Until we're getting pure gasoline. It's pretty cool stuff, I think. And there you have it. Another thing is make sure you do this outside and well ventilated area here's the cool part this is where everything comes together you notice we had that much water in the jug initially and you can see all of the water is back in the jug and then on top you can actually see the ethanol and then over here is pure gas pretty cool stuff so I hope you like this little experiment, if you will, on gasoline and how to get ethanol out of it. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. You know, one important note, uh, if you start out with, say, 87 or 93 octane, when you do take the ethanol out, it lowers the octane rating slightly because alcohol itself is a natural octane booster. So just keep that in mind. And uh, I've got to get some grass cut before I can start working on Casper. So until next time, this is Andy from Unity Motorsports Garage. I'll catch you later. <laughs>